Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Blakeu92 here again, and this time with the second installation of Vertical Effects. This is part of a four-part series for Vertical Effects, and uh, I've already made the first one for you guys. And of course, before you watch this one, you should watch the original uh, Avid Effects, which is a two-part series explaining a little bit about the difference between vertical and horizontal effects because this one is about vertical effects and to get a good grasp on what we're going to be talking about in this you should probably see the other ones first well let's see in the very last one that we did in this four part series we talked a lot about vertical effects of course but uh, mainly mostly about uh, picture in picture effect which is one of the more used effects in Avid it's pretty popular and pretty easy to do but um, you have to you know work with it a little bit to you know, know all of its ins and outs. So uh, one of those uh, topics were blanking or digital blanking. So we had to crop out some of the picture and uh, that'll come in useful later on down the line as we create bigger vertical effects. And uh, also we started getting into high quality mode and talked a little bit about it and its uh, high intensity filtering uh, render methods, which uh, you're not going to have to click until later. But um, yeah, much, much later, because, uh, yeah, well, you, you'll you understand. Just watch the video. You'll be good. And that's because in this video, we're going to be talking about uh, how you can globally control the high quality mode, uh, which directly affects the HQ button that we pressed last time in the last uh, tutorial. We're also going to be going over several uh, vertical effect edit techniques in this one, and a lot of those include everything from auto-monitoring to reordering layers,